Okay, so what we're going to do here is put together uh, cauliflower wings. Uh, now you can make these spicy like buffalo wings or you can leave them plain. I'm going to show them uh, with a little bit of uh, hot sauce to make them to buffalo style, but again, you can treat them any way you like. So what I have here is one head of cauliflower and you just cut the cauliflower into florets, as big or small as you would like them to be. In here, I have about two cups of chickpea flour and to that, I'm going to add about a quarter to a half a cup of nutritional yeast, about a teaspoon each of salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and then about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And then I have here about a half a cup of hot sauce. Now again, you can make this as much or as little as you'd like. It really doesn't matter in the end. And now to this, we're just going to start to whisk this together and then slowly start to pour in water. You can also use something like almond milk or soy milk if you'd like. Um, it's really a personal preference. I always use water, but again, if you want it a little bit richer or creamier that way, you could use a non-dairy milk. And the amount of water that you add will just depend on how thick or thin you would like this batter to be. So with the wings, depending on whether you want them to have a really thick coating or more of a thin coating, that'll dictate. So this is just a little too thick. So now the rest of this water, I have about a cup and a half of water here. And for these two cups of chickpea flour, that'll probably end up being perfect. And now the good news is, is since this is a chickpea flour base versus like a wheat flour or something, uh, there's no gluten. So not only does that make it appropriate as a batter for people that uh, have celiac or for any other reason why wheat or gluten would be inappropriate, but it also means you can't overmix it. So there's nothing in here that can be tough. So basically you want this kind of like basically a pancake batter consistency. But again, it's to your preference. And then all you do is just take your cauliflower. This is raw. It hasn't been steamed or blanched or anything. And you just dip it in your batter and kind of knock off the excess just until it's nice and coated. And I'm going to put that onto a baking sheet here that's been lined uh, with just some parchment paper. And so what's lovely about this is if you're making a lot or a little, you just adjust the amount as needed. So you can make this just enough as a little appetizer. You can make an entire meal out of this. Um, this batter will stay good in the refrigerator for about a week and a half to two weeks. So you can make as much as you'd like, and then if you realize you've got more cauliflower than you need or not enough fat or whatever it ends up being, uh, you just adjust and you make them out of time. So once you go through that process of taking these, dipping them in your batter, and putting them on your sheet, uh, once you've filled your sheet up for as much as you're going to do, uh, you're going to put this into a 375 or 400 degree oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. All right, now here we are, 45 minutes at about 400 degrees later, we get these perfect little cauliflower wings. So wonderfully cooked, you get this lovely little uh, batter. It's nice and crisp and brown on the bottom. The cauliflower is completely cooked through and actually gets kind of sweet as it cooks. And now from here, you can uh, serve these with extra hot wing sauce and buffalo sauce if that's what you're using. Uh, or if not, you can dip these with hummus or any other kind of dip that you might like, mustard, etc. cetera. Uh, you can use them as is. You can put them in wraps or sandwiches or anything that you'd enjoy. Uh, they are the easiest things to make, incredibly delicious, uh, and a, just a wonderful way to get a, I don't know, interesting twist on something that normally wouldn't be the healthiest food that a person might go with, with regular buffalo wings. So make these at home. Let me know how they turn out and enjoy.